Hey everybody, it's Tom from Inspiration Metalworks. Just uh, doing a quick video today, get you caught up on what's been going on. I wanted to apologize, it's been about a month since I put a video out. Uh, I tell you, I don't know what happened, but um, you know, I, I got uh, pretty sick. I had bronchitis for a while there and I was, I was just down. So, wasn't able to uh, get out here like I wanted to, although I was just downloading a video that I had shot before I got sick and I realized I'm wearing the same shirt and everything, so I could probably get away with just, you know, take off. Oh yeah, same day, but no, just kidding, guys. Uh, anyways, uh, today's project that I'm uh, wrapping up is actually a custom sissy bar that I'm making for uh, a gentleman in the local American Legion uh, Legion Riders. I am a member of the, the American Legion Riders, and um, so our, our local uh, post has bike nights from April through October and I actually set up out there at bike night uh, show off my wares um, but also because I'm a rider and you know it's a veterans organization is something that I feel really strongly about so um, I get out there and support them as much as I can so this gentleman is actually the new director of our riders and uh, as such he wanted to do something a little special for one of his bikes and um, I'll walk you through what we're doing All right, so just a quick view uh, of the shop. You get to see a little bit in here, but also I want to show you how I was, I was working on these things. So let me get uh, back over here and I'll show you some of this. Uh, don't be fooled, some of these other parts here are for other projects going on. Don't want to mislead anybody, but the big thing here is you know, the this, this sissy bar that, that uh, I built. And actually what I did is I worked from his backrest. Um, Rather than having to keep his bike here the whole time or just rely on some measurements I took, I actually made a frame based on his uh, existing passenger backrest. And so um, it allowed me to do a couple of things. The first was lay out all the holes that I needed, um, make sure I had the width proper, and also um, you know, make sure I had the, the proper rake. Uh, this one happens to be about 105 degrees. Uh, so. Just helped me get lined up. Um, thankfully, he could leave this for a while. Now, on the sissy bar, I actually made it from uh, half inch solid bar stock, uh, several pieces that I uh, cut and welded and got together. I actually have got a few touch ups to, to do on the sissy bar still, but for the most part, it's in place. Now, the brackets I designed myself, um, cut them on the plasma cam, and then I uh, went ahead and used three-quarter inch uh, square tubing that I, I cut down and uh, TIG welded in place uh, for the, the brackets. And then I just have some placeholders. I've actually got uh, some stainless steel cap screws to put in. But um, you know, I drilled and tapped everything uh, quarter 20. So nothing fancy, but you know something that's going to be good and solid and strong. Uh, overall height on this, if I remember right, this thing came out to be about 33 inches from the bottom brackets. Yep, they're three inches, which is what he was going for. He's going to use this um, basically on his uh, his bike. He's got a, I want to say it's a 2005 Heritage Softail, and it's, you know, it'll go on the back, and he'll be able to throw his um, his backpack on there just, uh, and hold it in place. But what we've done, and I'll bring you in close for this, is we've created a Navy logo and the, the logo, all of this is going to be powder coated in the uh, Harley uh, Vivid Black to include this back plate. And then the front part of the logo, the navy logo, will actually be chromed. And it's, it's designed, it, I'll, I'll bring you in closer on this in just a minute, but you know, so that chrome will have the offset. And it's actually going to go on the back of the bike here. And today's project is to actually get this, get the brackets mounted, get the stuff drilled and tapped, and uh, get this ready to go out uh, for powder coat and for chroming. Hopefully to have it back in time for our April bike night, which is coming up, I want to say April 12th here in North Carolina. Fuquay Barina, if anybody's in town, please come out. But um, All right, let me take you in close and I'll show you what I did. All right, so this is the Navy logo, and it's kind of tough. I don't know if I'll be able to see where I'm at in the frame, but I'll make sure that doing my best here to stay in frame. So this is the Navy logo that we've got and um, 
what I did for this is, you know, I, I have these logos that I do um, for people and uh, different sizes and things like that. But this is the basics of, of what I had. And this is a fresh one. It's basically been, um, you know, off the plasma cam into, I, I've started putting these in a uh, muriatic acid bath uh, to help with the um, clean up on the surface and the dross. This dross actually just kind of flakes right off at this point. What I'll do is I'll take it over to the wire wheel and just hit it real quick on the wire wheel. This will get you know, the surface all nice and smooth. But I wanted this surface good and smooth. It also softens up any of the edges so that it's not uh, so bad. And this piece is going to get, um, this piece will get chromed. Now what I did, let me show you some of the piece, some of that dross just falling off of it. So I took this outer image and I did an offset which basically I made it an eighth inch bigger all the way around. Right? Now this overall size actually fits the width of the upright on the um, on the sissy bar itself. So uh, this back piece will get welded in, uh, to the sissy bar and then I'll drill and tap holes to mount this part uh, on it. Again, I'm going to use the same uh, cap screws, the same stainless steel cap screws. We'll polish them up. I might actually have them chromed um, or black. I think the four that will go down down here on the sissy bar, we'll, I'll do black uh, like the rest of it. But then these two, I don't know if I'm going to leave it black or make it chromed. But the idea is to center it up on these um, on the bells here, on the, the ball of the of the anchor top here and uh, you know, have those cap screws lock it in place. So that should hold it on there. The black part will um, give you the contrast on, with the chrome. So it'll make this chrome really stand out. And so um, hopefully we'll get this done today so I can get it out for uh, finish here on Monday. <laughs> All right, so I've got this lined up about where I had it height wise. Now I just want to get it centered up a little better. TIG weld and everything on this, but I think what I'm going to actually do is from the other side, I think I'm just going to put this on, use the MIG. I don't know when to, when to pick and choose on this. So yeah, I think I'm going to do the MIG on this one. I'm also noticing that there might be a flaw in my original design here. So I might be changing up design a little bit mid to midstream as well. All right, this is an uh, eighth inch thick. It's actually, um, it's actually 11 gauge, so it's 0 0.120. All right, so we're gonna run a manual mode. Let's get this thing locked in place and we'll be ready to go.
nothing fancy. Just basically. Nice smooth again. Get any little stuff off of there. That's in place. Good to go. Now where I was thinking I might have to deviate a little bit in my plan is I noticed that uh, where I had intended to drill I'm not sure it's going to be centered up quite right. I don't know how well you can see that. But if I drill dead center, that actually puts it at the outside edge of the, uh, of the bar. I guess another option would be to put a little something behind it that I could tap into. Oh, we'll see. We'll work it out. Alright, so what I decided to do is create some standoffs between the back plate. And you can see, yeah, you can see pretty good from that angle. I uh, created a standoff. And actually what I'm doing is just they're quarter 20 nuts that I will weld to the back of this piece. And I'll drill the hole. So I had planned on coming this way with stuff, but instead I'm going to come from the back. So this will be nice and clean. We'll mount from the back. So basically I'll drill holes in this part and we'll mount from the back. So the first thing to do is very carefully. Let's make sure that this is these are in the right spot. Yeah. That looks okay. some holes and do it without moving everything. I like where these are lined up. Double check those. Got my mark there. Okay. All right. Make sure it's supported well underneath it. There we go. Yeah, same. 
here too for these two. Again, this isn't anything super special. We just want to make sure that it's hidden behind. The reason I'm doing this is what I'll do is I'll drill these holes, I'll screw these in place, clamp. So that's a good question. How am I gonna? I guess I'll, yeah, I'll screw them in place, set this in place, tap. You use the uh, the punch to tap the location on the back side of this, so that I can line up the the nut in the right place, and then get them welded up. All right. All right. So I want to make sure I'm not getting any arc strikes on the uh, front of that because it's again that's going to be on the uh, that'll get chromed, so it'll probably get cleaned up anyways, but one thing we do got to be careful of today is fumes, because this guy is uh, zinc coated, so we're going to be real careful of that, boys and girls. Let's so see if I get my third hand out. I don't know if this is going to work or not because it is a little Test 
looking. Again, I've got cap screws to go in here. I don't know how you can even hear me. Oh, it's alright. I'm doing the uh, kiss of death when it comes to the video. I'm trying something completely new the first time on video. I don't know if it's actually going to work or not. So, let's see how I did lining stuff up. <clears throat> so, I definitely need a washer and some shorter cap screws. I'll have to shorten these cap screws a bit. Get you a view from the other side. All right, there it is. Assembled, and I've got to get some shorter cap screws plus, you know, washers to put. But there it is. You know what? That's something I can uh, I can be all all right with. All right, so. Uh, that was the sissy bar today and again like I said uh, it's, it's something that I do uh, quite a bit as far as uh, you know work with the, the bikes and, and bike night and uh, you know it's sometimes I I, uh, I ask people why they want me to do do some of this instead of um, instead of buying it off the shelf or things like that and uh, you know, it's interesting I get some some, some uh, pretty cool responses and the one that resonates with me the most is that while you can buy some of this stuff off the shelf, I mean, this is a one of a kind, this is something I did for somebody, it's theirs, but more to the point, it's got blemishes, it's got flaws in it, it's, you know, it was done by a real person, it wasn't done on a machine, and um, it has character. And that's one of the things that I really try and do uh, in this shop, you know, I, I know it's something we don't do often enough and especially you know I do some computerized uh, work and uh, you know but this is all mine you know it's it's handmade and I do it and even these things that come off the computer they're not the same I may sand it differently one day I finish it differently um, curves get rounded differently because the way I, I was feeling that day and the way I held the grinder uh, you know every every one of these is unique and that's why I get out here and do this, and that's why I make things, and that's why I encourage other people to get out and, and do stuff too. So, with that, I'm getting off my soapbox, folks. Have a great day.